feeling soft, treading with us so kindly. Break it off, break it off. When you see it glow and you think it is ripen. I do that love, I do that love. When you lift your feet and you know it's me waving. Scattered grains, scattered grains, count the dandelions and the plots they ripen. Count it three years, count it five, see the buckle wheel and the merry go round. Spin your arms, spin your eyes, ever mindfully.
harder to do, but I call her and see her quick and her thin. Kick and wrinkle in the thin, and I'm swimming in song and blue. Hold her wherever you go, little runaway bunny. I will find you when then she ran. As they lie, we do.
the grace of a corpse And they rip tied And let go And I slide, slide, slide Down river With an empty case By my side An empty case That's my crime And I sing Say valley maker To keep from cursing Yes I sing Say valley maker To keep from cursing River all River all, oh, oh, river end. River go, oh, 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 river bend. Take me through the sweet valley where your heart bloom, bloom, blooms. Take me through the sweet valley. Where your heart is covered in dew, dew, dew And when the river dries Will you bury me in wood? Where the river dries Bury me in stone Well I never really realized Death is what it meant To make it on my own Cause there is no love Where there is no obstacle There is no love Where there is no bramble And there is no love On the hacked away plateau And there is no love In the unerring And there is no love out here Now I'm galloping back So bury me in wood And I will splinter Bury me in stone And I will quake Bury me in water And I will geyser Bury me in fire And I'm gonna phoenix I'm gonna phoenix
this is a story um, about my father because my father is a very philosophical man and he always has an idea going around and around and around in his mind and each idea that he has its orbit takes several years to go around and when he's really gone all the way through then he has a new idea and these days he has a new idea and his idea is that when we are conceived we appear in our mother's womb like a little tiny light suspended in immense space and there's no sound it's completely dark and time doesn't seem to exist it's like a ocean of darkness and then we grow and we keep growing and growing and as we grow slowly we begin to feel things touch things and touch the walls of our world that we're in and then we begin to hear sounds and feel shocks that come to us from the outside and as we get bigger and bigger the distance between ourselves and that other outside world becomes smaller and smaller and this world that we are inside which seems so huge in the beginning is so infinitely welcoming has become very uncomfortable and we are obliged to be born and my father says that birth is so chaotic and violent that he's sure that at the moment of birth we're all thinking this is it this is death this is the end of my life and I'm born and it's just a surprise because it's just the beginning and in the beginning we're very small and the world seems infinitely big and time seems infinitely long and we keep on going and we learn how to use our senses and we learn how to touch one more time the contours of the world that we're in and sometimes mixed in with the sounds and sensations of this world we hear sounds and feel shocks that come from yet another world and that other world just follows us our whole lives long so something is happening just on the other side of a very very thin wall that we can forget about it for a long time and then all of a sudden it comes again and then at the end of our lives we were obliged to die and at that point my father says that then we think we're really smart and we think this time we know for sure that this is death and that this is the end because everybody knows that but my father thinks that that's not the end either it's just the beginning of something